happen. Two, most of the Ghana cards that are being used by citizens, including people like you, Alfred, if you registered, many Ghanaians went to do their registration in school parks and churches and things. Many of them got to the registration ground before they were asked about their Ghana Post GPS. Many of them had not generated Ghana Post GPS from their homes or from their places of work. And so you have people generating Ghana Post. In fact, it was a whole thing. You pay five cities and they help you generate the Ghana Post GPS at the school park or on the premises of the church or the mosque. And so even today, if it is not a stolen identity and there's a SIM card that has been used for crime, and you actually want to trace the real owner. Yes, you may have the data, but the GPS, the most GPS location you have, when you trace it, it will take you to the school park where the registration was done, not the person's house. Because the Ghana Park system in itself is fundamentally flawed when you wanted to use the GPS system. Because there was no way to verify and authenticate the GPS location. And so you have data and in a database that is useless for crime, crime prevention.